was quite expensive in the UK. Uh, um, I normally buy uh, like a random collector booster if I'm doing well for money. So that's what this is here. But uh, I generally don't think at, um, at the, this price the packs are really worth it. But uh, we're going to open one for the channel and see what we get. You could get extremely lucky. Um, but you could also not open anything super great either. <coughs> but uh, let's see what we get. I am going to read through each card on this one. Um, I'm not just going to do the rares or anything like that. But we shall start by cutting along the top. Still waiting for my El Drazi commander deck to turn up as well, which is a bit annoying. But uh, let's see what we pull. So we have the first common, which is Void Bouncer. One and a red for a 3 1 El Drazi. With the void, so it has no colour. It has a kicker of two and a colourless. If void bouncer was kicked, it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters and a trample counter, and it has haste. Tune the narrative. One blue mana for an instant. Draw a card and gain two energy counters. Uh, th I think this is actually quite a good card uh, for certain decks. It was very good in limited. Obstinate Gargoyle. One white black for a 2-2 two, two artifact creature Gargoyle. It has flying as long as, as, long as it's modified and it has a persist. So uh, when it dies, it re-enters the battlefield with a minus one, minus one counter on it, if it didn't have one on it already. Seething Landscape. It's a non-basic land that taps for colourless. Or um, you can tap and sack it to search for a basic island, swamp, or mountain. Uh, and you can put it onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, you can also pay blue, black, red to cycle it. Very, very good common cards in my opinion. Consign to memory. One blue mana for an instant. Re replicate one. Counter, target, triggered ability or colourless spell. Mindless conscription. Two and a black for an enchantment. When it enters a battlefield and when you draw your third card each turn, amass zombies three. Waterlogged teachings. Search your library for an instant or, sorry, for three and a hybrid um, Demir Manor. You get an instant. Search your library for an instant card or a card with flash. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle. And it's one of the uh, the modal cards. There will also be a land. Again, another great addition to, to Commander decks, I think. And then we have a, a foil Eldrazi Swamp. Really like that artwork. Then we have um, an old border, old border, unholy heat. One red mana for an instant. Deal two damage to target creature or planeswalker. And if you have four or more card tapes among cards in your graveyard, it deals six damage instead. Oh wow, the most useless card in the set in my opinion. 
We've got an old border, Skoa, Ember Mage. Four and two red for a four four goblin wizard. When it enters the battlefield, it deals four damage to any target. And you may discard another card named Skoa and sacrifice two mountains for it to deal four damage to any target. Swept Heath. Uh, unfortunately, it's the cheapest of the fetch lands, but still, any fetch land is good. It's a non basic land that you tap, pay one life, and sacrifice to search your library for a forest or plains card and put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Conversion Apparatus. Three mana for an artifact. You can tap it to add colours. Pay three to add three energy counters. And you, or you can tap it and pay three to add three mana in any combination of colours. Oh, and then we have a volatile storm drake in the extended art. One and a blue for a three two drake with flying, hexproof from activated and triggered abilities. When it enters the battlefield, exchange control of Volatile Storm Drake and target creature and opponent controls. If you do, you get 4 energy. Then sacrifice that creature unless you pay an amount of energy equal to its mana value. And then we have Ashling Flame Dancer. 2 and 2 red for a 4-4 four, four Elemental Shaman. You don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases end. And it has Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, discard a card, then draw a card. If this is the second time this ability has resolved this turn, it deals two damage to each opponent and each creature they control. If it's the third, add four red mana. And then we've got a foil. Emerald Medallion, extended art there. Two mana for an artifact. Green spells you cast cost one less to cast. With a foil Eldrazi spawn token, an insect token on the back. Well, I don't think that was worth there at all. I, got, uh, I think I got let down in that slot there because you can get some good cards in the old border. But, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a weird day in magic when you can open a foil medallion and a foil fetch land and think it's a bad pack. But I think that's the... Uh, the big problem with Modern Horizons 3 is that it's, um, especially for the collector boosters, they're very expensive. And, uh, you know, I've been good with my money this month, so I did have the spare cash. So it's not like I'm uh, losing anything. But, uh, yeah, it's just, um, you know, I could have uh, I could have bought one of the Eldrazi Titans for that price. So... At least, uh, at least these two will go into uh, into decks, I suppose. And then, and, and uh, Ashling might do as well, but I know she's not worth a lot. Uh, well, so if I had to pack one, pick one. I'm not actually sure what I'd take because um, uh, there are some people now that are finding ways to actually draft collector boosters which I think is um is quite interesting. A very expensive draft but yeah hey ho uh, I I've been Foamy ASMR. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel grow and I'll see you in the next